So, <clears throat> I'm filming this in my garden. So there's lovely ambiance, but I think there might be some voices. So just bear with me for that. They are tidying up. They are going inside, so they won't be out long. To point out the elephant in the room, I will get onto my jewelry collection, but to point out the elephant in the room, I am in this dress, which I had no business purchasing. I am not getting married, and I am not in a be make for Chi 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 Bang Bang cast of Truly Scrumptious. That is the benefit of being a YouTuber, is are those things that you love and you have nowhere to wear them, you wear them in your garden for a video. So it's just this literally look like I'm getting married, but this is my jewellery collection. Um, and I was getting it all out into the garden and I realised I have way more than I thought. So I'm just gonna get come like go straight into it and get cracking. So this you would have seen it is my amber choker um, this I actually got from a site called literally it's called love amber and it is a baby's necklace um, amber is very commonly put on babies and yeah babies and like kind of teeth and ones it's very good for toddlers and babies again um, and it has like a breaking um, cord things so like you don't get strangled and um, so it's like good to wear to bed and things like that um, so yeah I really like that but I wear these all the time what else I've got my moldify on this is from a shop on Etsy I'll link everything that I can down below so I can link this down below um, yes yeah, just a piece of moldify on like a copper thing okay I'm not going to forget the rings two earrings okay so this is from a shop on Etsy and it's got green malachite in it and it's a day piercing this is just what I got it pierced with these two green and red are from Amazon um, and these amber studs are also from Amazon the, these two here and this one is what I got pierced recently so that's just what I got from the piercing shop <laughs> um, my ring so this is a rose quartz ring from Amazon again amber from Amazon and this shoe horse horseshoe horseshoe shoe horse shoe horse shoe horn I think I'm gonna say this horseshoe ring is from as above UK um, I also have this shungite which I just had on um I don't remember where I got this from that shungite is meant to protect you from EMF waves mainly is the reason I got it so I wear that against my heart so I love that I'm gonna start off with like my everyday jewelry and then go into the other bits. Sorry, I'm getting like really close because I don't want you to hear the other voices, I want you to hear my voice. Okay, so let's see. I've got it all like in a display tray from Amazon. Um, okay, let's start off with just rings because that's where I wear the most. Okay, so I have this pentagram ring from As Above UK as well. I have this spider web ring from As Above UK. I love them. I have this, this, I can't remember what it's called, it's like Maritus. It's made of fool's gold, like pyrite. Um, and this is an heirloom. I'm one of those people, it was an heirloom given to me like last year, less than a year ago. So, like, I'm now one of these people who has like a piece of jewelry as a family heirloom. <laughs> I have this cute little smiley face ring. And I actually got it inspired by Harry Styles' nails, so okay, that won't fit on because my fingers are swollen. But that is from Seal Gold, I think. I have this little cap is, and then this little paws on this side. It's really sweet. Um, that was a Christmas present from Shaw. This oh, I love this. It's my witch's hat and witch's broom in like silver, and this was from Amazon. Love that. This I actually got on a holiday trip from Cornwall. It's a mood ring. Love that. We love the mood rings. You get them at any kind of like touristy shop. This is from As Above UK. That's 
probably my favourite jewellery brand, um, especially for rings. And this is some um, black oink oinks. I don't know much about that. Then I have this, which is a recent purchase from TJC, and it's lapis lazuli all around. One of them did come out, another one came out. So we just gl put glue all in the middle, so it's a little bit plastic at the minute as you can see um, but they refunded me for it because it came with quarantine guarantee I say quarantine it came with a guarantee so we love that oh my god they're being noisy I'm sorry okay um, I'll take some of these off and we put these back Whitechapel in London. So it's like a, basically it was from like a, a Bollywood store. I don't know if it was like a Bengali speciality, but my Bengali friend basically got it for me. I really like that, but I put tape on it because it's oh, slightly too big, but I think it's really beautiful. I literally love that so much. And it's obviously got that lovely sentimental value. This is very battered and old. It is a kind of a Tudor inspired ring. It's complete plastic and it's from Dover Castle. But I think they sell them in like in any English heritage site. Oh, another one I love. This one I love as well. This was from Dover Castle. From the same trip as that one. And oh, actually, no. I, I got one of these from Dover Castle. I broke it and then was trying to hunt one down at every other English heritage site and ended up getting this in some like random castle we went to as a spur of the moment. Oh, where did I get this? Where did I get this? It's one of those things that you just see in Camden. Where did I get this out to London? Like Camden in years. I got this. I don't know where I got this. Cornwall? I think I got it in Cornwall. No, I got it in Dorset. In Dorset, I couldn't endorse it. Okay, then I have this ring, which is like gold bubbles. This is from ASOS, um, but all the gold's starting to come off, so I don't really wear that anymore. This ring is from So Gold, and it, I bought it for this finger, but I can't wear it in summer because my fingers swell. Um, I guess I can wear my pinky. Um, and the gold is starting to come off that as well, so I don't really like that too much. Again, another one from So Gold, where the gold started to come off. Um, but it's just like this key. I think I, did I get that? I didn't get that from my thumb. See, my fingers are soft, and at the minute it's just. But it, that's really pretty. I like that. And these are my most recent ones. These two from Etsy. They're like Celtic inspired, um, and I just think they're really, really, really beautiful. I really love them. Okay. So let's go into these earrings. So I got these from Asda and they're gold and they're just like a hoop but not like your average hoop. Sorry if there's not much ASMR. This is why this is filmed in the garden so you get bird noises. Um, and I, I really loved them and they just completed every outfit. Um, but where I have a lot of silver rings and stuff, I wanted them in silver as well. Um, so that is exactly what I did. And I think they're just such a... Oh, they just, they literally complete every outfit. These earrings, I love. I think my grand and colleagues got them in a raffle at work and she didn't like them, so she gave them to me, but I think they're so cute and beautiful. And they're like the handmade ones. Love that. These are lapis lazuli earrings. I love lapis lazuli because it, oh, this one's stuck. Because it helps with migraines, so I thought earrings would be... Oh, I put my phone on silent. Didn't even know my phone was out here. I thought I left it inside. And so I thought having them next to your head would be really pretty. Sorry, this video is going to be so weird. And I'm pretty sure my neighbour's looking at me as well. <laughs> These are some amethyst earrings. Um, there's a big kind of crystal theme in my in my jewellery collection. Um, these earrings I love. They are again kind of Celtic inspired, but they're also the alchemist symbol for air. Um, and also in the BBC Merlin series, which was like the thing that changed my life, this is what the druids have tattooed on them. And I also had a temporary tattoo of it because I am that loser. Uh, 
so that's kind of mainly the one in these earrings from as above uk they're just like tiny little boho inspired ones that's kind of my everyday stuff i do have some necklaces as well let's show you these oh they're all a bit tangled up necklaces are hard to store aren't they okay this is from As Above UK and it's some lapis lazuli on a silver chain which is lovely. This is new and I'm glad it says it engraved. This is from a place called Neck on the Line. It's a gold chain with green and like diamonds. Obviously it's fake. It's meant to be waterproof. It's one of those Instagram ones. Adverts where it's like waterproof jewelry. So I got that. This is my friendship necklace with my best friend. She is in a completely different continent and it's really sweet and it just says no matter where and I love it because it makes like cute noises and stuff and it's got a cute compass on mine which I love. It's quite like almost like dark academia vibes. I love that. Um, oh gosh, they're all getting tangled up. Okay, another necklace from As Above UK, slightly different shape. This is in Moonstone. And I mainly got this because I think Moonstone is um, one of my friends that I lost her birthstone was Moonstone. Um, so I was like, oh, I'll have a piece of her with me. And it's so beautiful, magical, like, incredible. Um, this is a fake, oh, I don't remember what brand it is. You know the brand. You know the brand. Um, one of those pendants. Oh, does it say on here? Does it say on here? No, it doesn't. Um, just in silver, and it's like a little choker. I really like that. This ah oh, is the gold. The year I was born, 1998. Um, I don't really wear much gold in summer, so these haven't been worn for a while. And now the people are starting to get loud. This I've literally had for years. It's gone so horribly discolored but I think it adds a cool effect to it. It was from Miss Selfridge and it's just this locket of a pearl and I don't know if you can see the details on the sides of the locket but it's really cute and it actually opens. So cute. I used to have my best friend from school put like a locket of her hair in here and then I was like on a first date with someone who's like what's in the locket and I was like don't open it don't open it and he was trying to open it so I quickly like threw the hair out because he thought it would be weirdo. This is, I really like the chain of this, it's like golden, like twist, it's really nice, but this is a Buddha on a chain. I really love this necklace, but um, I don't wear it anymore just because I don't think it's appropriate seeing as I'm not a practicing Buddhist. Um, I'm very interested in Buddhism and I love the teachings of Buddha, but I'm not a Buddhist, but I think it's, it's beautiful and it's a lovely reminder, and like if I'm around the house I might wear it. Um, I'm just, you know, trying to remind myself of it. This is another As Above UK necklace in Amethyst. I think that's all my As Above UK necklaces. Um, and then I just have this pendant, of being and Yang, which I actually should put on a chain because I actually really like it. Um, got that. And so I have this kind of cameo pendant. Sorry, I'm literally not doing any tapping or what. It's because they're so small, but I've got boxes and stuff to do, so I'll just get through these. But that's really pretty. I love that. And then I've got some big earrings. So these are some tortoiseshell earrings. Now she's getting the sounds in. Um, and they're just like kind of 60s inspired shaped and they're just pure plastic. Then I've got these earrings, which I love. And these are from Asda also and they're gold and they're just like, oh, like very old school. Love them. Sorry, I'm gonna stop getting really close to the camera. Love them. Um, then I have these again. I think from Asda. Um, I used to live right next to an Asda, so I have them. And they're just like some kind of organic shaped pearl kind of designs, gold. Um, again, I have another similar set from Asda. Actually, I think these are from Primark, but these are like big stud versions. And yes, the ice cream man goes round and round here all the time. <laughs> I think this is the final set from Asda. And it's these gold, um, kind of like, bent metal shapes with like, almost like clear quartz hanging from the bottom. I used to really, really love these. Um, I don't know, I should probably whack them back out again. They're pretty cool. Um, like them. I 
then have these Mona Lisa earrings, which I think are absolutely iconic and I love them. Um, yeah, I just think they're absolutely sick. They're like frames. So sweet. Um, I then have these. So a lot of jewelry I've like grown out of. Like it's not really my style anymore, but I've kept some of it just because... I don't know, I feel like a certain outfit it will look really cool. And these is some, something like that. It's these kind of black diamante hexagonal massive hoop kind of dangly earrings. Definitely nothing I would wear on the daily, but I feel like for a very particular outfit, these would be really beautiful. Um, then I have these kind of hoops. This is actually what one of my friends got me, the one who put the hair in the locket, um, for Christmas a couple of years ago. They're actually really cool and funky. They're just a little bit long, so like a little bit too long for your day to day, but I like them. Um, then we've got these, which I wear a lot in videos or from home alone or feeling spiritual. So they've got like a star, a little like orb. Oh my god, the Egypt thing and the moon. And they're very, very dangly. And they look lovely with like a bohemian -y outfit. I'm going fast because there's still a lot to get through. <laughs> I have these like cute little hoops. I think they're a lovely size and. They just have like cute little flowers on them and like very springy colours and they're just a lovely easy one like that. So that's, that's really sweet. I then have the other versions of the studs for my earrings. I think I've got green and red in but I've also got them in blue. So they do come in sets of two. I've got these studs which I absolutely love. I got them from Camden. I don't know if it's got like a ship. Oh my god is it cats? So, okay, at one point I thought they were just green, which I loved, just when I started first getting into green, I loved them so much because it had like the cool little bit on the outside, this is on Tumblr, they were massive on Tumblr, and then I thought they were little parrots, so that it went like that or something, and then I thought it was a boat, because it was like a sea, like the sails, and then I just realised, I think it's two cats, I think it's two cats, oh my goodness, but I never wear them anymore because it was kind of that phase I was in um, but they're just too sentimental to throw away similar thing with these this is what me and my friend went shopping and we got these because they were they were from River Island and they looked like the Pandora ones they actually would really go with this dress okay I need to start wearing these be a bit more fancy and glitzy um, I've got all of my belly bars which I'm not even going to show because I don't have my belly purse anymore um, I've got this turquoise from Etsy which is what I sometimes replace in here if I want some silver going on and then I also have these little hoops that I had in my day before or just like in my lobes here which I think are nice um, I've got some like Christmassy jewellery so I've got like holly Christmas puddings um, what else have we got here dangly Christmas trees. I'm just skipping past these because it's not for everyone. And then same thing for my Halloween. I've got these dangly witches legs, which I love. <laughs> dangly wizard hats. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then I've got some dangly skeletons. So cute, so cute. Um, and this is kind of the bit that I grab every morning. It's like first thing I see when I open my drawer. So yeah, that's kind of like my everyday go-to. And then I have these in my Pandora. I only have this because I spent too much money and they gave me a free jewelry box, so I love that. Okay, so firstly we'll go with rings. So this was my first Pandora ring. It's like the little swirl one. I absolutely love it. And I got this ring which is like the daisies because I think I saw someone who had like both of them and looked like a little crown I loved that I think got this one which is like amethyst with like the little bubbles on them I really loved that I then bought myself this one which is part of their Valentine's collection which is a little love heart in red but it was cute and I got this one which is called regal and it's like vines not gonna focus <laughs> and then I love emerald cuts so I got this little crystal one thought it was cute thought it was cute and then I got these earrings which are so 
so small and dainty and I love them and they were very very expensive but they're very pretty I like them I also got a necklace to match that and I hardly ever wear it I got it thinking this is going to be my new like jasmine day to day necklace and I never wear it because it was so 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 expensive but it is beautiful it is so pretty maybe I should wear it more often See, I love these ASMR collections because they actually make make me realise like what I actually have. I hope this one isn't so boring. I hope the birds are doing something. Ah, I've got a little bit like sentimental jewelry bit down here, which I think you can see an overview there. And there's you, on the grass. little trivery bits we're 20 minutes in so most people would have clicked off okay let's go on to these which i got from tower of london for my birthday last year last year when i was 22nd and they're like these two crowns with the pearls and they've got like a little blue stone in the middle they're really lovely i really really like these And then in here, I have some necklaces, like more staples. Oh my god, this could be a cute thumbnail. I'd look really classy with like Paris and this like truly scrumptious dress on. Firstly, I have my long pearls, which I love. These are absolutely divine. They're not real pearls. I'm not super rich. But they're literally, like, long. Like, long. And then I have the same size pearl, but just in, like, a standard pearl necklace. Beautiful. And then I have smaller pearls and like your standard little choker necklace and they're like, you know, you know those ones. And this I actually inherited as well, it's magnetic so it's, it's so easy just to pop on. And it's like these green crystal -y bits. I don't know but I really like these, I wear these a lot in winter but immune to the ice cream man noise and I just I've realized filming this video that like he comes a lot that's nice okay this is probably some of my oh my god you're running out of battery don't run out of battery okay I'll be back with the charger for this camera is this beautiful diamond set and um, this is actually a headpiece to go here oh my god that's so beautiful um i actually got this set or well, my friend kind of picked it out for me for a wedding so it was a bongoli wedding that i went to um and my friend was like jazz you need like 
Asian jewelry <laughs> and so she picked this out for me to go with my outfit and I I love this so much like I literally love this I wish I could wear it every day I would wear it casually as well but I don't want to kind of like appropriate you know like this is like fancy this was for a fancy event and but it's so beautiful like I love it so much and obviously with this like like ropey kind of bit here it can like fit on any um any size can be any length you want so I really love that and these earrings are just absolutely fantastic are they not I love them so much I feel like an absolute queen in these let me try this on because I haven't worn it in forever I mean, not just make jewelry like this normal, but you go to. Oh, can you hear that? Not the bloody ice cream man, but this. I don't know how relaxing this video is, but we are so far into it. I'm gonna finish it. the other tray in my drawer. Okay, so I'll start off with this. This is a anklet from the pool. I should probably pop on, but it's a bit fancy, you know, not your everyday things. Beautiful, it's got pairs of bits, okay. Oh, is there two? What? Is there two or did it break? Oh my god. Okay. It's literally so beautiful. It's got bells. I love it so much. But it's like nice. So like I'm not going to wear it casually like I would my other anklets. This is nice. Are they arguing? It's like they're arguing. Okay. This is actually from Hungary little box but these are my jumpers so I have gold I love jumpers they are the most beautiful earrings in the world so I have them in gold um literally so beautiful like I'm dainty but extravagant and just oh just amazing these are my silver ones so beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love them. I love them. Okay. Oh, there's this ring, Essie Marquis, which is the pool's gold thing. And this is a slab of lapis lazuli. Um, and then it's got like, I don't know, it's quite like art deco y. You can't see it. Oh, it's focused. Maybe I saw like that. Where do we start? Okay, let's start with this box. So I love merch, all kinds of merch. Last time I started watching the Vampire Diaries, so I got this as a gift for Christmas. This is the Salvador ring. It's not lapis lazuli, it is plastic, but still, how cool is that? So cool. Then this is What's her name? Catherine. Catherine's lapis lazuli necklace from back in the day before she then had the bracelet. And then of course we have Elena Gilbert's locket. Now I should put some rose in this. Or is it lavender? 
Because when he gave it to her she, with Vervain in it, she was like, oh, it smells so rose. I think it, I think it was rose. Um, sorry, that was just a cute thumbnail bit, but, um, yes. And then I have this, there's a big chunk of lapis lazuli from a necklace that fell off, and rose quartz that came off an earring, and then I still have the other earring. Um, these are like, just some, like, merch jewellery that I have. Ooh. And I also have this just plain silver choker chain, which I really, really like. But yeah, I have these skeleton gold hoops, which I absolutely adore. These are a whole vibe, and I love the fact that they are skeletons, so they're Halloween y. Um, and these are from Asda, Asda Kids, I think, for the like, Halloween stuff when Halloween comes out. So love them so much. Ooh. This is a rose quartz necklace, which is literally a chunk of glazed rose quartz um, with some wire around it. It's massive and it's heavy, but I love it. Um, this is from Amazon as well. Watches, are we doing watches? So this is a watch. I actually had an heirloom watch, but it came off and I lost it. So we bought this one, which is as similar to the one I had as I could find. Um, it's just like a gold um, and then I also just have like a, a black leather gold watch as well. I have a quite like vintage aspect of watches. These are some more hoops. So this is more like a hoop area. Um, just like some cute boho hoops in silver. And they're quite big ones as well. But yeah, they're really lovely. They make any bohemian look up. This is my forever breaking bell anklet and um, when I just get pliers and fix it back together again but I love it and I wear it all the time and it's silver so like I wear it, I bought when it is fixed together I wear it in the shower, I wear it to bed, I wear it everywhere um, and the silver hasn't faded it's literally just the the clasps keep breaking so I just need to keep binding them back together but these are lovely I then have this copper bracelet like some little magnets in but all the, most of the magnets have fallen out so there's just one there and again on that side there's just one um, but I think it's beautiful as well um, and obviously lots of holistic health benefits we love it we love it I was that girl in primary school another mood bracelet with stars on I actually got this from the British War Museum I think and then just some classic silver hoops I think these are bigger these are smaller and I think that's just from a set from Asda this is like a very 2000, I say 2001, 2021 oh, kind of necklace, like a spring, spring 2021 style necklace, um, which is just some glass mixed coloured beads with different flowers on. Um, and this kind of is quite nice because it sits just below my amber, it's a little bit longer than my amber, so that's annoying. I don't know why I'm trying to do ASMR sounds near the end of the video, but I am. This is from... Oh, gosh. This is a rope um, Wiccan symbol from Rockstar Castle. Love that, because I love witches. This is a piece of agate, I think it is. Um, just on a little rope. This is my amber bracelet, which again is from, actually I think this one's from not Love Amber, but it's very similar, it's one for kids and babies um, to help with teething and things like that, and it's got the same clasp that can be broken open um, if needed. Then I have these bracelets, I love this bracelet, I'm not really a bracelet gal, I don't really like things on my wrist, but this is so beautiful, and I, I think I got it from Booch, like when I was like seven or something um, and I just love all of the beads on it it's so so beautiful it's, just, it's very like teachery librarian and I just love it so much but it's just, just it's big you know it's you know you know and then I have this which is a mix it's I had a camellia bracelet with camellia 
beads and then it's got a mix of Pandora beads and then when I was at school I did Young Dragons and we made bracelets so it's beads from that um but it's just the most jasmine bracelet ever so it's like all got all my this is all Christmas bits here I love this one I think this was a camellia one um and then it goes into all my pink bits here and then there's a bit that says daughter I love this one this is one of my first ones and then it just goes into very jasmine-y. This bit's just jasmine-y, so it's got painting, because I, I used to paint my favorite color green, this lovely, just simple spacer. And then it's all like jewel tones, so like deep blues, a fleur de lis, because I love royals. This is another, like, to add to the jewel tones. An amethyst dangly, a beautiful spacer, and an amethyst bit here, another beautiful spacer, and some more jewel tones, so that's, that. I never wear it though, because, I used to get scared because my mum would because it was like so expensive. My mum was always like, you've got like 300 pounds on your wrist, don't lose it. And I was really young, so whatever. This was like the first brand I ever worked with when they first approached me. I don't really care about the brand. I don't really like them, but they sent me this for free. Um, and it's a choker and I actually really like it. It's just the felt kind of sticks through it. But um, yeah, that was my first kind of taste of influencer life. Um, and kind of taught me to not work with brands I've never heard of before. But, um, yeah, I really like it and, I mean, it's green, so, you know, of course I'll like it. I don't wear them, but I'm gonna gain a black choker. I feel like they will come back around sometime soon and it's just, you know, it's just a standard, just a staple. This I love, it's so witchy. I haven't actually worn it yet, but I think it's a present from my nan. But it's like this black joke, look how fucking Halloween -y and witchy that is. Oh, I love that, oh my goodness. I have the heart of the ocean. Oh my god, this is so like classy and... <laughs> the thumbnail of this video is gonna like disillude it completely. Um, but this was a gift from one of my friends at school. We actually went to the 10 year anniversary viewing of it um, at the cinema. And she got me this shortly afterwards. Just the best. This is, this is old, I think it's like, tw oh gosh. Old. This is just a simple chain. Again, I got it, I think last year or the year before. And it's just one of those things I think is just like a, a timeless, just, if it comes back in fashion again and I feel like I want it, I'm gonna be gutted that I threw it away. Oh. And then this kind of like awkward um, Halloween, not awkward in terms of, but like it's like, it's not central and things like that, which I really like. So it's got a little pumpkin, spider, and the spider like kind of comes down from like a little web and then a bat. So that's cute. You know what guys, that's it. I'll show you my sunglasses though. These are like my sunglasses that aren't actual like sunglasses. They're just like fashion -y ones. I actually know where uh, these are the only black sunglasses I have, so. Let's make some sounds for the very end of the video. And I have the exact same pair in black and in brown. And it's like an ombre, it's like, these are fucking cool. You know, you know the vibe. And then the final thing I'm going to show you is my pink love heart sunglasses. I actually wear these quite often. Okay, guys and girls, that concludes my ASMR jewelry collection. I'm really glad I decided to shoot it outside because there's birds. I'm really, really sorry, really, 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 really sorry if you can hear the people having a party. I thought they were going inside. I really thought they were going inside, but now the kids have come out. But luckily, I'm finishing the video as the kids are coming out. But that was my jewelry collection. Everything's small, so it's hard to make noises with it. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll try and link as much as I can below. I'm gonna quickly speak to the outro because the kids are coming out, it's gonna be really loud, but um, they're having fun and that's all that matters, you know? We love a, a fun, untroubled childhood. <laughs> um, but thank you so much and thank you for giving me the opportunity to wear this wedding dress slash truly scrumptious inspired. Like literally, it's like, how would I ever wear this anywhere? And it's, it's, it's a maxi. Um, but yeah, thank you for giving me the opportunity to wear this in a video and these lovely flower beds that my mum has just made. And now Frosty's finishing his nap. Everything's like coming to a good, a good natural close. Big stretch. 
Good boy. Hello, darling. Hello, good boy. Should we go inside and have some dinner? I love you so much and I'm proud of you. I'll see you later.